It's Wendy. Welcome back. And if you're new, this is always a surprise. It's me, Queen Andrea. Lazy hug. And since you guys liked the last lazy hack video I did, I decided to come back with another one. So today I'm sharing with you guys 30 different lazy hacks. They are life changing. Lose weight, eat healthier, or maintain your weight. I'm gonna get rid of this. Some of these were like quite unbelievable. Some involve you doing nothing at all and you get to burn calories. But hold up, if you guys aren't part of the family yet here already, I encourage you guys to join. It is so simple. Just click the subscribe button here on screen. And if you're on a mobile device, it is down below. Three million awesome people are here, like what? And to say thank you, I'm giving away three MacBook Airs, three to celebrate three million. Get it? I'm so, I'm so, so smart. And to enter, it is so simple. Just join the fam and also join my vlog squad, which means subscribe to my vlog channel as well. And that's where we kind of get closer to each other and stuff. And that's it. Just, it's just those two things. So if you guys are lazy like me, but also want to look trim and healthy, give this video a thumbs up. And if we can get to 150,000 thumbs up, that would be amazing. And we did this last week, so let's do it again. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Let's go. Drinking three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice reduces fluctuation in your daily blood sugar levels by 10%. And these sugar spikes are what leads to fat gain. I personally don't drink pure lemon juice because it's so sour. But if you fill a container in the ratio of two liters water, juice of one lemon, one cucumber, and 10 mint leaves, you'll get the right amount of lemon in just two cups. This healthy water mix will not only help with weight loss, but it will detox your body and clear your skin as well. Or if you're super lazy, just mix the amount of lemon juice into your daily drinking water. Did you know that drinking two cups of cold water on an empty stomach can boost your metabolism by up to 30%? This is actually crazy if you think about it because I burn about a thousand calories a day naturally. Burning an extra 30% is like 300 calories, which is like another small meal. Drinking water before each meal also fills your stomach up so you don't overeat. Studies have shown that if you do this before every meal for 12 weeks, you'll lose four and a half pounds or two kilos more than if you just eat normally. I've been doing this next hack without realizing for the longest time. Basically, instead of a normal plate, eat from a smaller plate than you would usually. There's actually proof that eating from a smaller plate tricks your brain into thinking you're eating more than you actually are. So when you finish your meal, you'll psychologically feel fuller and not continue to overeat. This applies to eating from smaller bowls as well, which I've been doing all my life because Chinese bowls are actually quite small. <laughs> Another study found that eating food off a plate with contrasting colors will help people reduce the amount that they're eating. The mind doesn't realize how much you're eating if the food and plate are too similar in color. So if you had a meal with mostly red food, choose a green plate to eat off. And if you have a meal with mostly yellow food, then choose a blue plate. Basically, you'd stop sooner. Now this hack really speaks to me and all you lazy corns out there, it's actually to sleep. Studies have shown that lack of sleep is bad for your body's metabolism and that getting seven to eight hours a day of sleep boosts your metabolism and lowers stress hormone levels, which also causes weight gain. So now you can sleep in and not even have to feel bad for it. I'll definitely be using this to my full advantage because sleep is my most favorite thing in the world. Not all fats are bad. There's evidence that eating monounsaturated fats in the morning helps your blood sugar levels, well, stay level. One suggestion by Tim Ferriss is to have four Brazil nuts and one tablespoon of almond butter in the morning. This will regulate your blood sugars for the rest of the day. And it's pretty good. Another super simple hack to lose weight is actually to turn down your thermostat by a few degrees. This is perfect for lazy people like me who like reaping the rewards without moving a single muscle. Science has shown that your body burns slightly more calories in the cold than in warm temperatures. Obviously, don't turn your temperature down so much that you're shivering, but a few degrees probably won't be too noticeable. But actually, shivering burns a lot of calories, but very uncomfortable, and I really don't recommend it. 
Instead of PJs and stuff, wear your gym clothes around the house. Seriously, this actually works because whenever I'm in my gym gear, I just feel more active and healthy and it actually makes me feel like exercising. I know it's totally psychological, but I also tend to move around more even at home and occasionally get motivated enough to actually go to the gym because like I'm in my gear. If you're going to exercise, the best time is at the beginning of the week, like a Monday, because you can set a psychological pattern for the rest of the week. Oh my gosh, I only did 17 steps. Wait, where am I? Why am I here? Why do I feel the need to walk? Why am I walking? Another simple hack is just to wear a pedometer. Research has shown that people who wear these are more likely to reach their step goals than those who don't, even when they aren't specifically trying to lose weight. I personally think this is awesome because you don't actually need to commit to any exercise, you just need to wear it and then let your subconscious do the work for you. In the middle of the night, in the Get in touch with your lazy side and try eating your food even slower. Chewing more and slowing down your eating will give your body time to realize when it's full so you don't overeat. Studies have shown that you can consume up to 10% less calories just by doing this. I'm sure you all know the feeling when you're starving and you eat super quickly and then you realize you've eaten way too much and regret it for the rest of the night and put you in a food coma and then you can't move. Yeah, happens to me all the time. So eat slower. When you eat more often and in smaller portions, this causes less blood glucose spikes which in turn causes less fat gain. It's great because it gives you an excuse to eat like 6 meals a day and not feel bad. Just, just make them smaller than normal. Me be in the sky, would you exercise less. Yes, you heard me. If you're someone that's motivated enough to exercise to lose weight, you could be doing it all wrong. Studies have shown that exercising for hours at a low intensity is much less effective than a short 15 minute high intensity workout. Some high intensity activities include jumping jacks, squats, lunges, and skipping. If you wanna know more, look up high intensity interval training. Cutting my exercise down from one hour to 15 minutes definitely sounds like a win to me. Find a hobby that keeps you in shape, then you'll never have to exercise again. I love dancing and I don't view it as an exercise at all, so two birds with one stone, awesome. Eating spicy food has been shown to increase your metabolism. You can use chilies from the supermarket or some cayenne pepper. If you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of chili and I would put chili in everything if I could. So this could be part of my secret and I didn't even know about it. You bring me back to Drinking a cup of green tea before bed increases your metabolism so you can burn more calories while sleeping. And I totally give this a lazy thumbs up. Another thing you can eat before you sleep is a spoonful of peanut butter. I honestly didn't think this hack was accurate, but there's some nutritional evidence that a small amount of peanut butter before bed actually helps keep your metabolism up during sleep. I love peanut butter, so you don't need to tell me twice. Wear form-fitting clothing while you eat. This hack is great to help with portion control because if you start eating too much, you'll get a physical reminder that you should probably stop because of the constricting. So the most dangerous time to eat is actually at home when you're in your PJs and loose clothing. Watch out, guys. Never shop on an empty stomach. You'll have less self-control when you're hungry. So eat something before you go grocery shopping, even if it's like a fruit or a small snack. That way you're less likely to buy things like junk food and sweets, and you also save money. Win. And don't even keep junk food at home. The only reason people are likely to eat junk food is when they're aimlessly wandering around and feeling peckish. You open the cupboard, and it's there. So take away the temptation. And plus, I'm way too lazy to go find junk food if it's not there. So it kind of works for lazy people. Pamper yourself. Chronic stress can be a major cause of weight gain, so it's in your best interest to relax a little, try a hot bath with Epsom salts, 10 drops of lavender oil, and half a cup of baking soda. It's super relaxing, draws out toxins, and lowers stress-related hormones and balances your pH. When eating a meal, eat the healthiest thing first. If you can't finish your meal and it's too much, it's better to have eaten your healthy calories than the unhealthy ones. No, I, I, I. Limit sources of temptation, especially at night. I'm actually the biggest offender of this because I always get food envy when I'm scrolling down Facebook or Instagram and then you see those food posts and next minute I'm like drooling on the screen and I don't even know how I got there. And if that means you have to block food accounts or not go on social media at night, then that might be a sacrifice you need to make for your waistline. <laughs> 
When buying a meal, ask for your dressings and sauces on the side. Dressings can often be the most unhealthy part of the meal, so this way you'll only eat what you need. Simple food substitutions can help you cut calories and fat while satisfying your cravings. Use Cravings 911 on Good Housekeeping to find healthier alternatives to commonly craved foods. One example is that cauliflower dipped in barbecue sauce apparently tastes like chicken nuggets. And I tried this and it doesn't taste like chicken nuggets but it's pretty good. Try sneaking in some more vegetables into your meals. Obviously, you won't need to do this if you're vegetarian already, but for things like stews or stir fries, a little bit of extra vegetable won't even be noticeable. It's super tasty and so much better for you. And generally, vegetables have less calories than the same amount of meat, so that's a win. Eat when you wake up because that will kickstart your metabolism. If you wait an hour or two before eating, then that's time wasted that you could be burning calories doing absolutely nothing. Standing up for 3 hours a day can burn up to 150 calories compared to sitting and I know this is not super lazy but think about all the other things you have to do to burn 150 calories. So if you're on the computer a lot, consider a standing desk and if you can't do that, find some excuses to stand up like take more drink breaks or bathroom breaks. If you're hungry, ask yourself if you want an apple. If the answer is no, you're probably just bored. So go do something entertaining instead. Eat with your non-dominant hand. This works because most of the food decisions we make happen automatically, especially when we're watching something. Research has shown that simply by eating with your non-dominant hand, you can break up your habit enough that you become more aware of your eating decisions, allowing you to stop sooner. Try watching some funny videos as well. Scientists have found that laughing intensely for an hour can burn as many as 100 calories and in particular helps build up your abdominal muscle. Watching a scary movie can help you lose weight. The scarier it is, the more calories you burn. Studies have shown that one viewing of The Shining can burn 180 calories which is the equivalent of a 30 minute walk. Hell yeah, I'd rather watch a movie. <laughs> How lazy were these hacks and you actually burn calories like I am mind blown. And if you guys want to do any of these, please share it with me with the hashtag OijiCoins. You know, I like to stalk you, like your photos, reply to you guys during the week. It is one of my favorite things to do. And I miss you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Love you.